have I been seeing a pop shelf in all of my like videos, people that I watch. I'm seeing this pop shelf. I just rode by here. Now I gotta go inside and see what they got. I've never been in here before. Ooh. I'm excited. Okay, quick thoughts on Pop Shelves. My first time in there. I'm glad I got to see it. Um, Pop Shelf reminds me of like a big lot. I feel like this is probably the type of store like after fall, they're going to have like a real good sale on all the fall stuff. So I'll probably come back at the end of fall or like beginning of winter. They did have Christmas stuff in there as well. They had some really cute Christmas stuff, but. <sighs> Cause I'm looking for a fall doormat. And I also want to find some fall pillows for my couch, but it's hard because my couch is gray. Like it's not like a, well, gray is a neutral, but it's not like a, you know, I don't know. It's like I really be trying to find stuff with like gray in it so it'll tie it together and it won't look so like weird. But I'm gonna go on Audi Right Queen and see what they got though. Let's see. So which is be crazy they do though. Which is bro, I love this. Look like a pot. That's really cute. I don't really like 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 I like fall themed stuff, not Halloween type stuff, so this is Halloween stuff. It has some cute stuff over here. I thought this was neat. This is like you plug it wherever you want plug it in the wall. And then it's a button that you put like on your tabletop or wherever. And instead of plugging it in, you keep it plugged in, but you turn it on and off by pressing this button. I thought that was really neat. <laughs> it's kind of lazy, but it's neat. I was looking at this. Cast iron Dutch oven. And it's that teal color. Super cute. But it's like, girl, when do I even be cooking that much to get a Dutch oh. oven? Alright, what? <laughs> so yeah, no. I was looking at this though. The recipe stand. Wouldn't that be clutch? But it's like. I'm using recipes for my phone if I use a recipe, so. This would just be like a lot. I wanna try this cold foam. Sweet vanilla cold foam. I've never seen cold foam in a can. Am I tripping? I think I wanna try it. This is dinner. Got my dumplings or pot stickers and hot and sour soup. This is like literally the best Chinese soup. I wanted something warm, and I couldn't think of nothing, like, for real, so. I always go to the Chinese soup. Amazing. So, yeah, y'all, that concludes tonight for me. All right, see y'all later. All right, y'all, we're cooking a little something today, okay? I got some pork chops, yummy, yummy, lightly seasoned with black pepper and creole. Um, we have our rice over here, and we're gonna do some um, gravy and Brussels sprouts. So, usually I put the pork chop in the air fryer, but I want to make a gravy, so we're gonna put them on the thingy thing. So, close them all. It was about five minutes before I flip them. We're gonna do another five to six. Let's take them out. Got our pork chop finished. Got to create our gravy. So I got this gravy how I want it. So three and a half cups of water. Maybe about a cup of flour. Spoonful of butter. The butter was optional, honestly. I did add my um, beef base. Better than bouillon. Add our pork chops back in this hole. Whoa! 
jump suit up? Girl, what's happening, girl? The light's trying to go up? That's crazy. I did try one of them. They do it. Okay. All right, we got the wraps. I got you some gravy over the wraps first. Okay, here it is. All right, y'all. Here it is. Our pork chop and gravy. We got a cornbread from that soul food dinner I did about a week ago. <laughs> it still tastes all right. And some Brussels sprouts. I was about to have a little snack. Okay. So I've been liking these spicy noodles. So we're going to do a pack of those. But I like to add eggs in there. Once the water is like about to start to um, boil, I take eggs. And just let it fall in the water. I'm going to do three. By the time they start as a boiling, I'll be able to add the noodles. Da, 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 you hear me? So, yeah. <laughs> right, once the eggs are covered, this, and the water starts boiling, I'll add the noodles. This is my noodle ball. <laughs> As you can see, it's stained from this sauce, but it's so good. And I'm not gonna use all of this, because this stuff is really spicy now. Very much just gonna add enough to taste. About four or five minutes later, there's our noodles drained, and our eggs, perfect. You can see the yolk is here, so they're done. If you want it runny, just don't cook it as long. But over here, I like my eggs cooked. I put a little sesame and seaweed mix, just to, you know, just a little decoration. I don't like it that much, but yeah. That's what they look like, girl. Let me see my little snack, girl. They got like a little family and friends there at their job. Oh, they got a little dog. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, we never got nothing like that at our job. Girl, they just don't appreciate folks. <sighs> I wanted to come in Dollar Tree and see what I can find. Because I feel myself getting back into my DIY bag. So here Don't want a Dollar Tree. There was nothing that like stood out to make me want to be like, ooh, I can create this with this, you know what I mean? So, I'm slowly feeling like, you know, I'm slowly wanting to get back into the DIY stuff, and y'all know when I get into something, I be all in, okay? So, we about to see. <laughs> Uh, we about to see, but um, it's just like for me, they have a lot of Halloween stuff, and I'm not decorating for Halloween. I want to do, I want to decorate for fall, you know what I mean? Pumpkins and leaves, and you know, stuff like that, not skeletons and witches. And no, we're not doing that, we're not doing it. Uh, but what other people do it, it looks really, really good. So I'm looking to make fall decor, but I wanted to match my aesthetic, the gray, silver, which is like really like beyond, like I'm really having to like go the extra mile to make it match <laughs> the aesthetic in my apartment. So I think I'm probably kind of like dreading that aspect more, more so than like, just, you know, getting it and like, just kind of fixing it up. I feel like I would have to go a step further, but, and I don't think I'm quite there yet, but. <laughs> going on. <laughs> they seen that car wash, Costa Street about to open up. Now they're upgrading to Whistle Express car wash. What? 
I like the wave better. What? What is whistle? What? Anyway, girl. I'm going to show y'all the new um, car wash. Girl. It's cute. Y'all see how this says doesn't like wash away from under my little visor things. So, under. So, I had to get out and wipe it. Oh, such a pain when you want to just leave. Oh, car wash. <laughs> I got all the, we're getting all the stuff up. We got this big old wash. Super cute. Let me show y'all where my car wash is. Okay, y'all ready? Bam, right over here. <laughs> now they calling it a whistle. Okay, thank you. New. new spicy queso, Funyuns. Y'all know I love the try foods. Okay. So, this looks interesting. Let me see. Look at that picture. That looks crazy. I'm about to try these with y'all real quick. So, let's see. Ooh. It does kind of smell like a Rotel dip. So, that's interesting. It does have like a slight artificial smell to it. Which I would imagine it probably would be. All right, let's taste it. It tastes like cheese doodles. <laughs> Put me in the mind of the puff cheese doodles. Not the crunchy ones, the puff ones. There's a difference. They're not spicy. They do have like a peppery type of kick to it, but it's not like a spice kick. Or I mean, peppery is considered a spice, but like, you know what I mean? Like far as like heat, like hot spice, they're decent. I would definitely prefer the original Funyuns. So yeah. 